And beyond the snow and cold, Alberta is also dealing with a political storm over actions by the province's justice minister. Yesterday, it emerged that Casey Madu made a phone call to Edmonton's police chief after receiving a ticket for distracted driving. Madu has since been stripped of his duties while an investigation gets underway. Tom Vernon joins us now from Edmonton. Tom, walk us through what happened with that ticket. Sophie, it was last March that Casey Madu was pulled over in a school zone in a South Edmonton constituency. The officer told him that he had seen him using his phone. Now, Madu disputed this, saying his phone was in an inside pocket. However, he did end up paying the ticket in full. Now, after receiving the ticket, Madu admits he phoned the chief of police. At the time, he was dealing with a police surveillance scandal with the Lethbridge police, and he wanted to ensure the that he wasn't being unlawfully surveyed himself. He also wanted to raise concerns about racial profiling. Both he and the Edmonton Police Service maintained he didn't ask for the ticket to be rescinded. Now this has at least temporarily cost him his job. Premier Kenny took to Twitter to say Madu will step aside until an independent review can be completed. Political watchers say Madu should have known better. Either he was unaware that this was inappropriate behavior, which is bad for a justice minister to not know that they shouldn't be interfering in the judicial system like this, or he knew it and he simply didn't care. And that's even worse. Now, Tom, as you mentioned, the premier says there will be an independent investigation into that phone call, but that's not good enough for everyone. Sophie, the opposition wants to know exactly who knew what and when. Caucus sources say rumors of the phone call and the ticket began circulating around the government as far back as the Calgary Stampede in July. The opposition is asking when the premier knew about this ticket or when his office knew about this ticket. Sophie? All right, thanks for that. Tom Vernon in Edmonton.